Hey guys, and welcome to my introductory course to Linux. Uh, I'm not going to go over the history of Linux or anything like that. I just want to get straight into the meat of the learnings. Uh, so what I'm using is Kali Linux on Oracle VirtualBox. If you want to follow along with these lessons and you want to set up your own virtual machine, let me know in the comments below and I can do another episode on how to set up VirtualBox and how to get a hold of a Kali Linux distro and set that up. But from this very first episode, we're just going to go over some of the basic commands to the terminal. The terminal is probably the most important part to Linux. So understanding this bit, you'd be able to jump into just about any version of Linux and quite happily navigate your way through and use the system perfectly fine. So among some of the commands, first one that we're going to be learning is ls. Now ls is the list command and that will list everything within that current directory. Um, depending on how you set up the system when you first install it, you should by default have pseudo privileges. If you don't, some of the commands may not work as well uh, as you might need. Uh, root permissions but ls will just list everything in that current directory at the moment we are in the root directory so we can see everything that's uh, effectively equivalent to windows everything in the c drive so everything in the root directory we can now list it won't list any subdirectories it will only list the folders and files in that current directory um, if we want to change the directory, so if we want to dive into desktop, we would use the cd command. So cd is change directory, and then we would start entering whatever directory it is that we want to go into. Uh, it is capital sensitive, so desktop. Um, with the Linux term terminal, uh, you can use tab to pre uh, prefinish what your commands are but you do need to make sure that you have at least narrowed it down so that there's no other possibilities. So if I just typed in the letter D and hit tab, it would not autocomplete because there are three folders that all start with a D. But because I've typed in DE, I can hit tab and I can now go to that directory. Now that we're here, we can LS again, list everything within that folder. If we want to go back, you would use CD followed by two dots, two full stops. That'll take us back. And now we can change directory into pictures. Yep. Pictures. So you could see there that I just put in a P and it gave me both pictures and public. It kind of tells you, hey, there's two of this, this origin. So now that we're in pictures, we can LS again. There's nothing in pictures. If we want to make a folder now within pictures, we would go MK, duh. So MKDIR or make directory will make another folder. And we can name this whatever we want. So since we're in pictures, we will go, um, downloads and now if we ls we have a new folder called downloads we can change directory so cd into downloads and we are now working in the downloads directory under pictures so you can see it here it's listed uh right next to your your user so we can see that we have gone from root into pictures, created the directory downloads, and now we're going into there. We can CD back. We are now in pictures, change directory back again. Uh, I would re highly recommend just practicing with these basic uh, commands without using LS too often. Um, Use LS to begin with just to get familiar because once you're familiar with your system, you're no longer going to uh, use LS. Um, we could just use clear now that we're working in the root directory, but we could go CD 
um, pictures, downloads, and we have gone past pictures straight into downloads. So you can concatenate the folders that you want to change into. Um, this is this is quite helpful if you know exactly what it is you're looking for. An example of this would be within uh, Kali Linux, there is a tool, uh, well, a number of tools, but one of them will be for brute force. Uh, see if we can find it, password attacks, here we are. And we would be after Hydra. Hydra, did I pass it? Password attacks. It's in here somewhere. I thought it would have been under password attacks, but that's that's okay. Anyway, there's I'll I'll get it for, for another lesson. But in the event of a brute force attack, you need to choose within the tool, so within the commands what your target is, what your usernames are, what your passwords are. Now, these usernames and passwords aren't just auto-generated. You need to select them from somewhere. That could be a text file with just a list of usernames and a text file of a list of passwords, but you need to direct this tool to where to find them. So if you download a new list of usernames or a new list of passwords or even make one, you need to guide the tool to that specific file location. And it'll, when you start the program, it will go straight to that location and use that file. So it's very important that you are familiar with being able to go back and forth uh, through the directories, able to uh, instantly know where to go through subdirectories to get to wherever it is you need to be. Um, if we go back to CD... Oh, we want to just go back, so two full stop. If we want to remove the downloads directory, what we would use is rm rmdir. So rmdir. And that should now remove the downloads, which it has now that we've used ls to list the uh, the artifacts within pictures. So we can see now that we have a basic understanding of some of the introductory commands. There are plenty of them, and through each episode, I will go through each one um, within with detail. But main ones I want uh, want you to remember for this one would be ls cd mkdir or make directory and rmdir remove directory uh, another one would probably just be clear clear is just to clear the terminal that's all it is there's nothing nothing else outside there other than just working with a nice fresh clean terminal so if you've made lots of mistakes and that sort of stuff and it's starting to get to the bottom of the terminal just use clear you get a nice clean terminal to go back to the top, but you will stay where you currently are. So if I go ls, 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 then I go cd pictures, and then I go clear. You can see that I'm still within the pictures directory, but just with a clean terminal. So this is, this is especially handy just to keep focus on the task at hand as opposed to looking back over everything. So once you know you don't, you don't need any previous information, just use clear. So again, ls, cd, make directory, and remove directory. So mkdir and rmdir. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comments below. Uh, 
I, I'm not sure if there are any apps that will easily replicate a uh, bash terminal, but if I do happen to find any, I will put a post out or add that into my next episode or episodes, uh, just so we can get as many people involved as possible, all doing the same thing. Uh, if you need any other help, just, just ask. I'm happy to help out. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the very first episode of the introductory course to Linux. If you want to know some of the history of Linux, I'm happy to go over it, but I just want to get stuck straight into the meat of using a Linux system as it is an incredibly efficient, incredibly powerful uh, operating system that can really rebreathe life into older machines that have less hardware as it's less hardware intensive. So yeah, definitely something worth learning. And uh, until the next episode, peace.